personal finance practice problem using Excel. Change in bond rating impact on price. Prepare to get financially fit by practicing personal finance. Here we are in our Excel worksheet. If you don't have access to it, that's okay because we'll basically build this from a blank sheet. But if you do have access, three tabs down below, example, practice blank, example, answer key. Let's look at it now. We're gonna be calculating the bond price and the change in the bond price as there's a change in the rating of the bond. In prior presentations, when we calculated the bond price, we were basically given the market rate. But the market rate, of course, in practice will be dependent upon the market's perception of risk related to the bond. We do that oftentimes by comparing uh, similar types of bonds. We can kind of group bonds to be similar types of bonds in part by the ratings. So we're going to be dependent a lot on basically the ratings oftentimes when trying to determine the risk and the value and therefore the calculation of the prices of the bonds so if the rating of a bond goes down that's really bad news for the issuer of the bond whether that be a government or a corporation because the higher risk means that people are going to want a greater return they're going to have to pay more rent for us to give us the money more interest is going to have to be paid out and that can be a significant problem for the issuer of the bond whether that be a government or a or a corporation so they would like to have strong risk a lot of confidence that they're going to be uh, repaying the bond and that means that they can they can borrow at a lot lower cost to us on the investor side of things clearly if we have less risk we're willing to have less of a return so here we're going to have the strong rating of aaa and that's going to be the rate here as the rating goes down we're going to expect and want more of a return higher interest payments if we're going to invest in those bonds issued by that corporation or that government because we could purchase bonds elsewhere that would be that would be less risky and so there's debate oftentimes or there has been debate as to whether the rating agencies for example uh, have kind of problems with them or what or could they get kind of corrupted or uh, because of the ratings are, are so influential but of course we would like to have faith and the rating agencies that's really important to us as the investors so that we can have faith in terms of the risk involved and hopefully gauge the risk appropriately okay so we're gonna we're gonna second tab here is going to be a pre-formatted worksheet on the right hand side so you can work to the practice problem with less excel formatting third tab is going to be where we're going to do the excel formatting if you don't have anything and you just want to open a blank excel worksheet you can do so and then just select the whole worksheet I would lay down the baseline formatting by right-clicking, format the cells. I usually go to the numbers, currency, brackets, no dollar sign, no decimals as my starting point. I'm not going to hit OK because we already have this. I'm just going to X out. Then add your data on the left-hand side, adjusting as needed for things like percentages. In the cells, make a skinny C column, and we're good to go. So we're going to imagine we've got a bond 1000 years 20 year it's a semi-annual bond it was issued at aaa rating that's going to be the highest rating it was a very secure bond but then the rating went down to aa3 so if the bond was at the AAA at the point of issuance in a thousand dollar bond then we're going to assume that the market rate was the same as the triple a rate because it was at the point of issuance so let's just recalculate that and we should get to a thousand dollar price so let's be our starting point we're going to say the price is at uh, at aaa rating when they issued it we're going to say i'm going to open this up a little bit we're going to put black and white header home tab font group making that black and white we're going to do our normal bond valuation, present value of interest, present value of print, uh, let's say present value of the face amount. So I don't misspell principal and face amount. We're going to open this up a bit. All right, let's do this. We're going to say, well, we'll do this fairly quickly because we've seen these calculations in the past. Negative present value, shift nine. The rate then is going to be that 9%, which is both the market rate, because this is at the point of issuance and the rate on the bond. That's a yearly rate, though. So I'm going to divide it by two because it's a semi-annual comma. Number of periods is going to be 20. That's years. I need semi-annual or half year, six month periods. Therefore, times two to get to 40 comma. The payment then is going to be the $1,000 times the coupon rate 
which is also the 9% because it's the same as the market rate because it was at the point of issuance and we had them the same at that time, but that's a yearly rate. Therefore, I'm gonna divide it by two because we're gonna be issuing the interest semi-annual. Okay, the face amount's gonna be negative present value, shift nine, the rate once again, market rate is the 9%, which is the same as the coupon rate divided by two because we need the semi-annual six month half year rate comma number of periods is going to be 20 years once again but we need half years therefore times two to get to 40 comma comma chameleon because we don't need a payment because this isn't an annuity we're now in the future value which is the 1000 and enter that gives us the price at the issuance of hopefully a thousand dollars summing it up we get to the thousand dollars because this we use the same rate here for the for the market rate as well as the coupon rate because that's the rate at the point of issuance now let's make that bordered let's make it blue with the bucket drop down if you don't have that blue it's in the color wheel there's the wheel of colors i want that color right there we're going to say okay all those colors and you always choose the same one choose right now why why don't you mix it up a bit so i'm going to say now the price change the current price now pro most likely time would pass of course but i'm going to keep it at that same 20 years so we can see the impact you know keeping the price keeping the time frame the same and we're going to say man that company got hit scandal happened big time scandal people and their rating dropped down to aa3 now for them to issue a bond at the market rate they're going to have to pay out 11 percent it's kind of like, you know, they're gonna, welcome to the real world where people actually have to, you know, pay, there's interest involved when you take out a loan, just like everybody else around here. Anyway, home tab, font group, we're going to say this is going to be black and white, same calculation, present value, future value, but this time we're going to assume this rate was the issue rate, the coupon rate but now the market rates jumped up to 11% because these people aren't as trustworthy anymore. The trust has been lost. And as you know, trust is everything. There's the trust. Trust is gone. Nobody, then you're gonna, then, you know, you need to give me more money. <laughs> 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 so negative present value, shift nine. The rate is going to be then the market rate, 11%, but that's the yearly rate. So we're going to divide it by two. And then we're going to say comma. The number of periods is still going to be 20 because we're going to assume this happened like right after they issued the bond here so that we can get an apples to apples, same thing to same thing comparison. But that's in years. So we got to multiply it times two to get to the semi year six month calculation. Comma, the payment is going to be the $1,000 times the coupon rate, which is the rate at the time that the thing was issued, which is the 9%, that's the rate of on the bond. And we're gonna take that, but that's a yearly rate. So we're gonna divide it by two because they're gonna be paid out semi-annual every half year, six month time frames, closing it up, hit and enter. There we go. Now we'll do the present value of the face amount, PV, shift nine, the rate, once again, 11% at the market rate after they have fallen from the graces the good graces of the rating agencies. You should have paid the bribe, <laughs> just kidding. There, you could trust the rating agencies, hopefully. We could trust them. The rate divided by 12, comma, uh, divided by two. What am I dividing by 12? Divided by two, comma, number of periods is gonna be 20 times two, and then comma, comma, because we're not talking annuity this time, we're talking present value of one, which is the thousand dollars up top 1000 and then we'll sum that up equals the s to the u to the m and sum give me an s give me a u okay so why did i say price 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 current so current price price current Price, price, font group, underline. Let's add a couple decimals down on the on here. Home tab, add a couple decimals so we can be a little bit per, per, more precise. Could you give me some pennies in that? Because I'd like to know down to the penny. So now, of course, the price has gone down because the graces are no longer as good. 
they're less good graces. They're not in the good graces anymore. They're in like the okay graces of the rating agencies. Hometown, I'm not even on the board of the rating agencies. They don't even, they don't, they think I'm beneath rating even. Just like normal, like average people don't even have like a rating. They don't even, anyways, whatever. So that's the impact. So clearly if you're a government or if you're a corporation, the rating has a, a huge impact because that should be giving a reflection to the investors of the risk involved. And as the risk goes up, they're gonna have to be paying out more interest in order for us to be buying their bonds, loaning them money, as opposed to buying other bonds, loaning other people money.